Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to start and operate the ED250 in SimRail. Uh, at the time of recording there aren't any tutorials that I've seen out for this so I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing running. Uh, when we come in here, note that we don't have any power. So the first thing we need to do is enable the battery which is the top left knob here. I'll turn that on. And we can sit down. And first thing we'll do is activate the cabin and clear the alarm just by pressing spacebar or by hitting those buttons. And then we are going to raise the pantograph and enable the control circuits. Now we're going to wait for the kilovolt light to go out. There it goes. So now we can close the main circuit, which I'll do with this button right here. And note that the main circuit button also, or main circuit light also goes out. Wait for the train to come on. Now we have power and we're ready to go. So we can set the direction control to forward. And we can set the service brake to run. And while the Brake hose is just charging. We can contact dispatch. Katowice to four five zero zero. Radio check. This is Katowice. I read you loud and clear. Katowice four five zero zero is ready. Thank you. Wait for signal. All right. Now all we have to do is wait for that signal to change. There it goes. Now, this light here indicates that we still have our parking brake on, so we'll need to disengage that with this button here. And now all that's left to do is engage the throttle. And there we go, we're moving. This locomotive is also equipped with cruise control, and I can set it by increasing the cruise control speed here. Note that we have the cruise control set speed up in the top left corner. I'm going to increase it to 40 kilometers an hour. So now instead of using our throttle to dictate how fast we're going to go, we're just going to use it to dictate how quickly we will accelerate or decelerate. Uh, so I'm going to increase it. And once we get up to about 40, you'll see that the throttle automatically disengages. So I'm going to bring it back. I can also decrease the cruise control by bringing it down. And it's going to decrement by uh, 5 kilometers an hour. And it automatically brings us down to 35. And I can bring it back up. Back up to 40. And it automatically accelerates. I can also bring this down to coast by bringing the throttle down to zero and the neat thing about that is our cruise control is still enabled so as soon as we bring the throttle back on we are still uh, governed by the cruise control. The service brake has two different modes there's electrodynamic braking and pneumatic braking uh, and it automatically switches between these two modes. Uh, I'm gonna bring the electrodynamic brake on and then under a certain speed about 10 kilometers an hour, it's going to engage the pneumatic brakes. And also if you engage the emergency brake, it'll engage the pneumatic brakes as well. So you can hear the pneumatic brakes engage there. And now that we've come to a stop, I can open the door. The door controls are here. I'm going to open the left doors. And that's about it. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, please ask. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.